guys, it's Jarelle. So in today's video, I'm gonna be pulling an all-nighter. And I never stay up late. Like literally midnight is like the latest I'll stay up because I get so exhausted throughout the day. So I never stay up late. So pulling an all-nighter is definitely gonna be a challenge. But today I've had such a chill day. I really haven't done anything. I've just been at home. I just haven't really done that much. So I was like, okay, today is perfect to pull an all-nighter because I've had such a chill and lazy day. Like maybe I'll be able to stay up late. And I have a ton of different ideas for activities and stuff to do to keep me busy because I feel like to keep myself up, I'm gonna need to be constantly doing something so that I don't get tired. So I'm just in my room right now. It's looking pretty cute and the sun is going down. So it is 8.04 right now and I am starting this video. I am so excited. So for the last couple weeks, my family has been on a trip. So it's just been me and my sister home, which has been so crazy. We've literally just been home alone doing our thing, it's fun, we're just having our summer. So right now she is at work, so I'm just home alone. So since it's just me and my sister home, we have to take care of all the pets. So I'm headed out to my backyard right now before the sun goes down because I have to get the eggs from the chickens. So I'm in my backyard and I'm gonna head over to the chicken coop, which is over there in the garden. I never show you guys this stuff, it's so funny. But um, yeah, so part of my chores for the couple weeks that they're gone is going out to the chickens and collecting the eggs, feeding them, you know. So when you come in the garden, the chicken coop is right over here. So I'm bringing in the eggs. Good night, chickens. So I brought the eggs in. I just forgot to do that earlier today and I wanted to do it before it gets too dark out. So this is what I've been wearing today. It's a super comfy outfit, short sleeve shirt, which is super cute and comfortable. And then I have on these bluish green sweatpants from Urban, which are really cute. So my outfit is just so comfortable. As I said, I haven't really been doing that much today. So this has been the outfit today. But I also did clean up my room today and it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I really needed to clean it up because it gets dirty so fast. So I'm glad everything is organized. So since I'm home alone, I'm watching TV in my living room instead of in my bed. I was watching The Hunger Games earlier on my laptop on an illegal movie website. So I think I'm gonna finish The Hunger Games right now. I just love it, you guys. It brings me back to the good days. It's just one of my comfort movies. I've watched the Hunger Games series like a million times. It's just so good. I also just finished binging the Twilight series. I've never seen every single part of the entire series, but I just finished it since they all came on Netflix and it was very good. I love the whole vampire genre, you know, and just the vibe. But yeah, I had never seen the entire series until I saw that it was coming out on Netflix. I was like, okay, perfect. So I binged all of it in a couple days. It was amazing and I recommend you guys do it. I'm pretty sure you guys all are because I remember when I looked on Netflix, it was literally like every single movie in the whole Twilight series was like number one in the US, number two in the US. I was like, oh my God, you guys, everyone is binging the Twilight series right now since it came on Netflix. So that was really good. I watched that. So yeah, it's not that late yet. I'm just hanging out in my living room, giving guys a little update, but I'm gonna finish, I think my movie right now. So I'm about halfway into the movie right now. If you guys were curious to know the name of the legal movie website that I use. I use Soap today. I've used this website for a couple years just because it has literally everything. The Hunger Games is just the vibe right now. I am literally tired already. I finished the movie, it was 10 out of 10. Always amazing, always a classic. I'm in my room now and I'm gonna pick out something to change into because I'm gonna go get a snack. As I said earlier, I did eat and have dinner, so I'm not super hungry. I just wanna get some candy, maybe a drink. I would love to get some boba right now. That is really what I'm craving. Some Thai tea boba always sounds amazing, but there's no boba place around me that is open this late. So I'm gonna get dressed to go to 7-Eleven. I am so Still wearing this. I think I want to change at least my pants into not sweatpants. So I'm gonna change out of my comfy outfit into something else. Yoga pants, which are cute. See, I'm just gonna change out of my comfy outfit into another comfy outfit. Yoga pants, that sounds pretty good. I could wear this long sleeve, which is kind of cute. It's this gray. Um, okay, so I think I'm changing into this outfit. 
This is my outfit that I just changed into, another really comfortable, casual outfit, and it's pretty cute. And I'm gonna put on my sneakers as well. So I am very excited to get something. Um, I swear I eat way too much candy, it's just a problem. I have these phases with food where it's like, I'll get super addicted to a certain food. It's usually a snack or something that isn't very healthy, like Oreos. I remember for a while, like my freshman year of high school, I really loved toaster strudels. You can go back on my videos from when I was a freshman in high school and I would eat one every morning before school and when I came home from school it was the first thing I wanted again. I've been through some Oreo phases. The certain like cappuccino powder stuff that I got from like Costco was so bomb. I got really into that one time. So I go through all these phases and it's like even like peanut butter toast or these vegetarian sausage patties that I had for a while. But what happens with every single one of these food phases, I always grow out of it and I get so so sick of that food. So tonight when I'm going to get candy is another one of my phases, gummy candy. I cannot get enough of it. So I don't wanna get sick of them, but it's what happens every time. Like I just overdo it. So right now I'm headed to 7-Eleven and we're gonna see what kind of candy I can find. Let's go. So I am grabbing my bag and my keys and I'm ready. Okay dogs, I'll be back soon. Okay guys, it is dark, there is no one out. It's just so exciting, love the nighttime vibe. It's just so fun. So I'm buckling up, I'm getting my Spotify going. So I am so excited for this nighttime activity. Like I'm going out of my house, this is so exciting. I just love the nighttime sesh. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I made it. I have just arrived at 7-Eleven and I'm going in. Okay, this is the section. Let's figure out what I want. Okay, you guys know these are the absolute best, so I'm getting a pack of these. Okay, and I think I'm also gonna get a pack of mini M&Ms. I decided to get a Slurpee, because why not? I haven't had one in so long. I got the cherry flavor the best, of course. Oh, I think I got the wrong straw, fuck. I got the straw that doesn't have that little scoop at the bottom. It's fine, let's try this. I'm very excited. Damn, that's good. I haven't had one of these in so long, but I don't drink soda. I haven't had soda in years and years and years. Like elementary school was the last time I had like a can of soda. So I got the cherry one and I think there's cherry coke in it, I think. So every time I drink a Slurpee, because there's soda in it, it's like really powerful for me. It's just like I'm not used to that kind of carbonation, you know what I mean? So every time I have like a drink that's like fizzy, I'm like, oh shit, that's really fizzy. This is so good though. And I also got some mini M&Ms and my favorite gummies in the world that I will recommend to you guys every single time I have them. Let's go. You guys wanna know something kinda of funny and embarrassing? But one of my headlights on my car is out. As you could tell, they're on right now and only one side is lit up, that side is dark. So one of them is out right now. I fix my headlights myself. I've done it quite a few times on this car. Last time I changed my headlights was a long time ago now, but every time it goes out, like this, this is what I do to make it work again. Did you guys see that? I just walk outside my car and punch my headlight back in and it just starts to work again. I definitely need to just refix it, but every time I just punch it back in, it works. So I've just been doing that lately. So now that it's later, I'm also gonna change my lights in my room a little bit. I'm gonna plug in this galaxy light that I love. It transforms my room so much when I plug it in. So my room is transformed. It looks so good with this galaxy light. I'm also gonna come over here and light my incense. This is where I keep my incense and my crystals and candles. I'm also gonna turn on my salt lamp. So cute. I'm also gonna light this candle. I'm obsessed. It's the Midsummer Blooms. It smells so good. Okay, I got my incense lit. I'm gonna put this on the little incense holder that I have. This one is a turtle and it is so cute. 
So I am going to change back into my pajamas. So I put this outfit back on. I have that same blue top on from earlier, the comfy short sleeve, and then I put on these even comfier striped pajama pants. This is what I'm wearing tonight. I feel like I'm doing a great job in staying awake. So far so good. I don't feel too tired. I'm definitely tired. It does not feel as late as it actually is. So I was watching TV in my living room for a little bit and I'm getting so exhausted. I was thinking that I could do some art or something like that. So I'm going to bring out my sketchbook and some markers or I have these paint pens also. In one of my last videos I got this whole three-tiered cart and I am literally obsessed with it. It's been the best thing ever because I keep all of my art supplies on it. So I have this empty space and I need to fill it with more artwork, do something hopefully that I could hang up in this space. This summer has been so crazy because it's just flown by so fast. It is scary that it is gonna be August. I always felt like August was the Sunday of summer. It's like that last push before school. On Sunday, it's like, oh shit, it's Sunday. Like, we gotta get back into the routine, have school tomorrow. August is just that last small amount of time you have before you have to get back into the grind. I am not ready, you guys. I'm just not ready for all that schoolwork. The only thing I'm excited for for back to school is back to school shopping. Cause there's still so much more that I wanna do before summer ends. Okay, you guys, it is 2.19. I've been snacking on my candy that I got. I've just been drawing in my sketchbook a bunch of random faces, just having fun with some markers and some pens. And I'm watching BoJack on my Netflix. So what I'm gonna do is a face mask. So this is the face mask that I'm gonna be using tonight. It's the Glossier Greens Galaxy Pack face mask. I actually really like it. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna apply this using a makeup brush. So I have 20 minutes in this face mask. It feels super nice. I'm gonna leave this on and then once it's ready, I'm gonna wash it off in the bathroom again. So right now it is three o'clock. We have made it to 3 a.m. That is very exciting. I am shocked that I am still pretty energetic this late because this is way past when I would usually go to sleep. I need to do face masks more often. guys it's been 20 minutes so I'm gonna wash off my face mask right now my skin definitely feels really good after using that face mask I'm also gonna use a couple more nighttime products resurfacing sleep mask it's an overnight mask you leave this on overnight and then wash it off in the morning this is from the brand Coco kind so I'm gonna scoop some of this out I'm gonna apply it to my face <laughs> So I took off all my jewelry and I put on my robe and I'm super comfortable and I'm standing next to all my crystals So what I'm gonna do so usually when I charge and cleanse my crystals I leave them under the moonlight. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight I'm gonna collect all my crystals and put them in my pockets right here And then I'm gonna bring them to the backyard to put them under the moon for the night I have quite a few especially small ones So I'm gonna start just by grabbing the bigger ones and putting them in my pockets My pockets are full, so I'm headed out. I'm just gonna slip on my Birkenstocks. I'm in my backyard. This is my hot tub. I usually just set my crystals up right here and it's directly beneath the moon, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna set all my crystals up right here. It is literally almost four in the morning. I'm in my backyard setting up my crystals. Good times, guys. So I didn't bring them all but I think this is a pretty good amount of crystals to charge tonight. Right underneath the moon for them to charge. 
So a couple of the crystals that I put outside will also fade in the sunlight. So I just need to make sure to bring the crystals back inside before the sun rises or right after the sun rises. I would love leaving my crystals just underneath the moon because the moon comes out every night. So it's perfect. I'm going to watch a show. I'm just trying to pass time. And I always sleep with a ton of clothes just piled right here on my bed. And I'm just going to lay in bed. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna go and get my nails done. I desperately need a fill. It is just that time I need to get my nails done again. I'm gonna go on Pinterest right now and find some inspo for my nails. Usually I go on Pinterest when I want some nail inspiration, but I was thinking maybe some green tones or a cute design. It's just so funny. Look, I was just scrolling through my homepage and look, both of these are me. Isn't that so cute? So here are some of the pictures that I've saved for inspiration. The thing is, I feel like a lot of these are really hard. Like, I don't want to go into the nail salon with a really hard design that they might not be able to do, you know what I mean? But this is probably like the last thing I'm gonna do tonight because I'm getting so tired and it is already 4.30. Okay guys, so I am coming over here and unplugging my lights. Okay guys, I am so tired. I am definitely going to be headed to bed soon. I have my remote to turn off my lights. I'm going to keep looking at Pinterest for a little bit longer, watch my show, and then I'm definitely going to fall asleep in the next like 30 minutes. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this all-nighter. It was so much fun. I can't believe I stayed up so late, you guys. It's crazy. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye. Good night. Mwah.